Hey guys, uh, we are approaching week four of CCL, and this is going to be an interesting week. Firstly, it's going to be an interesting week because we're going to see all of the same teams face each other again. Uh, because the way that the initial Swiss round robin format worked, all of these teams placed just in a way that they get to face each other again. Um, but each of these teams now knows what the other team is going to bring, and there's a lot more at stake. The team that wins in the upper bracket is going to get a free ride, a free pass, all the way to the finals. So they'll get a week off, they'll get a week to kind of watch to see what everyone's playstyles are, so they get a huge advantage by winning this game. The team that loses uh, in the lower bracket will be gone, eliminated from the tournament, and that is going to be one of either Little Rubies or Pentanoms. Now, this was an extremely close series. Uh, it ended 2-1 with one of these games uh, could have gone either way, meaning that this could have literally been anyone's game, and it's looking like it's going to be an extremely close one. These teams are finally learning what is working, what they can bring to the table, and this could be a huge swing in either direction. Some notable people to, to look out for. Uh, Lake Fu's back on healer again this week, and she did very, very well. Lashes has been switched to a support-ish slash damage dealer, and while her Zarya still needs a little bit of work, her Gul'dan is pretty good. Uh, so I would say let's watch if she starts picking up Gul'dan a little bit more. She won all the games that they did play Gul'dan, and I expect more Gul'dan play from her. Uh, on the opposing side, we did see Arthas being ran by Big Scoop. Now, he dominated when he was against someone like Stitches, but he struggled against some other people like Garrosh uh, and ETC. I think Arthas as a main tank is good unless... He has to face displacement, right? He has to face someone like a Garrosh that can throw him into the enemy team because he has no escapes. Um, but he does stay alive for a long time in these fights, and he does do quite a bit of damage. Uh, a ton of CC. So I do think that we'll see a little bit more from that. Tatsuki played a really good uh, KT, and I expect these teams to bring their best in this next game. Um... So this was an extremely close one, and it could swap back and forth. It's going to be really exciting. We should be seeing that first um, on Wednesday. Uh, but let's take a peek over at the other two teams that are playing. Uh, and that is, these were very, very quick games. Uh, not safe for work from home versus Big Ding Energy. Now, Big Ding Energy, almost everyone predicted they would win in a 2-0 fashion. So the fact that we actually saw a lot of people saying, Oh, well, are these balanced? Because these teams... And no, they got destroyed. So, I was watching some of their, their practice and coaching sessions after the game. And it's interesting what they've decided was the problem, what they needed to fix, and go on from there. A lot of what they wanted to, to change and a lot of what they've been practicing were their positioning. Which means we may still see these heavily coordinated team comps coming out from them. But I think one of the big issues was they run very heavy CC comps. And they were running those heavy CC comps against Deathwing. Who just walked up to all of their CC, feared their entire team. And for the duration that you were trying to CC the enemy team, your team was all feared. So I think that's one of their bigger issues. If they can solve that... Um, by banning Deathwing, I think they would have a better shot going against the Leoric rather than the Deathwing. Now, Leoric can avoid CC as well, but he's a much smaller body, and he can only avoid CC while he's using E, and we know that Turk doesn't like doing that playstyle of, of Leoric. He plays more of the press R to win. Um, so I really think that's going to be the answer to beating Not Safe for Work From Home, is giving them the Leoric and getting rid of the Deathwing, um, because that Deathwing is countering pretty much every comp they try to run. Will they go with that? Because when I was watching their their um, practice, it seemed like they weren't worried about the Deathwing. Um, but I do think that Deathwing was certainly a problem. Also, giving Coffee Greymane while they were on the team of Deathwing uh, is also tricky. Because that's one of the best answers to Deathwing. So... What are these teams going to do? How are they going to play this out? Because Big Ding Energy needs to beat Not Safe for Work From Home here. If not, they're going to have to beat them in the finals. And there's a chance that they're going to have to fight them in the finals either way. Um, if, uh, if these lower bracket teams can't uh, learn what they're doing. But it seems like some of these lower bracket teams know what they're doing now. Uh, so this is going to be a really, really close week four. And we could be seeing the teams that are facing in the finals fight off tonight. Uh, or, or Wednesday anyways, and um, 
and it's going to be pretty awesome. So I'm very excited to see uh, what's going to happen here. And again, some particular people to, to look out for in this. Uh, I would say, again, we're going to be watching to seeing what uh, what Ross is picking up as far as a tank, what Turk's going to be getting, uh, as well as if Coffee's going to be getting this gray main. Uh, at the same time, on the other team, I mean, Jazzy's uh, Jazzy Sylvanas has been really good. We're always watching out to see what Mockery ends up with. But uh, yeah, overall, that is uh, my thoughts on this upcoming CCL. It's going to be... Probably one of the most exciting weeks outside of the finals just because this is the last week we're, we're going to see all four teams playing. Um, and this is also the last week that many of these teams are going to even get a shot to do anything here. I mean, at least one team is going to be eliminated this week. And uh, hopefully all these teams are bringing their best so that it's not them who gets eliminated. So I'm very excited. Again, still, have the teams that you're rooting for changed? Let me know, because I am very curious. I think the teams that I've been kind of hoping for right now, I'm rooting for the underdog. I want to see Penn and Oms get a win, right? Um, they they work hard. They've got great players on their team. Yoon, Kyle, I mean, these are players that I've seen dominate on their own. Um, so I, I'm excited to see what these, these players can bring, and uh, I'm definitely rooting for them. So let me know what you guys are rooting for. Throw it down. I, I'm really curious and I'm very excited for this week.